Hello mystery seekers, I'm here in Quar Abbey. I know what you're thinking, a load of religious men all together in a building? What could be sinister about that? But it's not just bald men in robes that habituate this monastery. No, it's also their flying friends. No, not angels. I'm talking about bees. And they're the subject of our most extraordinary story yet. Let's find out more. I went to see Denise Nielsen, no relation to Dennis Nielsen, to listen to her claims that eating the honey from Quart Abbey was giving her incredible psychic visions. Tell me the story. Uh, so, well, um, I originally got um, the honey from someone that probably didn't like me because it's one of those things you immediately put in the back of the cupboard. And then one morning I was having some toast and I thought, I fancy something on this. And I thought, ah, the honey. <sighs> Interesting. So I had some honey on my toast, and then I was struck with this, oh, it's a really strange vision um, that the bloke over at number 42 was having an affair. I could, I could almost see it. And you think this was because of the honey? Yes, I, I, I think the bees were somehow spying on people and, and, and putting that information into the honey. Might there have been some other evidence like him getting home late at night or Maybe you saw him getting off with a woman who wasn't his wife in his car? No, it was a vision and it must have been true because a week later she kicked him out. <sighs> OK, and what else? I had a vision that next door were putting their rubbish in my bin and then I caught them the following week. And then I had another vision that the man at number 37 was putting ham on his muesli. Right, and how did you know this was true? Other people knew about it too. What, so they saw him put the ham on his muesli? No, they'd also eaten the honey. Well, I suppose I'll look into it then. I'll be honest, I thought Miss Nielsen was a hysterical mentalist and her claims about these omniscient bees was absolute bullshit. But being a great investigator, it was my duty to look into it. I went to Quar Abbey to buy some of this magical honey. Then it was time to try it myself and mm mm mm, it certainly was delicious stuff. But that night, when I lay down to sleep, I had some odd dreams. Dad? Dad? What are you doing, Dad? Get on my YouTube. Let's see what that idiot's been up to. Dislike. No. Dislike. No. Dislike. No. Dislike. No. Dislike. No. Dislike. Dislike. After a fitful sleep, it was time to see if these nightmares were strange honey-inspired visions or just mental bullshit. Dad, have you been disliking my YouTube videos? Yes. An incredible revelation. It has been proved with 100% fact that the bees from Quar Abbey were spying on people and putting the information in the honey. And also, my dad might hate me. So remember, wherever you are, someone or something is watching you. You can support the Mysterious Soul on the website, mysteriousoul.com, and get this merchandise as well as unpublished videos and podcasts. Goodbye. Stay safe. <laughs>